Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to be showing you guys a brand new week 10 challenge guide for season five, going over every single challenge, how to complete them super fast. And again, I bring these challenge guides every single week for you guys, showing you guys a complete challenge guide on how to complete all the challenges instantly for the week. So it'll basically help you guys complete them in less than an hour. So it's absolutely awesome. And if you're new around it, do stick around for that because I produce these every single week. Anyway, let's pop straight into this and not waste too much time. We've actually got a few different challenges on screen for you guys right here. These are all the challenges that we can expect in week 10. So we've got search jigsaw, the puzzle pieces in the basement. Uh, that's not too difficult. We'll go over that one in a minute. Consume apples or mushrooms. Eliminate opponents 10. Search chests in salty springs. Deal damage to opponents. Search between a covered bridge, waterfall, and the ninth green, and also a stage one, which is an elimination one. So that's not too difficult at all. You simply just have to complete the eliminations at different locations. So the next challenge I want to show you guys is search between a covered bridge, waterfall, and the ninth green. This is probably the best challenge to show you guys straight away because it's the one that most of you are looking forward to. So the location of this one is just by this little hut over here, and it's this little kind of patch of grass here where it's actually going to be spawning the battle star. Very easy to go, guys. You simply can just land in here and you'll gain access to that. A few tips and tricks you can do with this one is you can actually land in this house here, which gives us the first basement for the basement challenge. But we'll jump into the basement challenge for you guys in a moment. But that is the location of the secret battle star or the normal battle star, whatever you want to call it. If you're wondering about the secret banner or secret battle star, from what I know, there isn't one for week 10. But if there is, expect it in the pinned comments down below. Now we're going to be jumping on to the actual basement challenge because that is probably the second most difficult challenge out of all of these. Now, the first location we're going to be starting off for this is actually Salty Springs. I'm going to jump over all of these for you guys, showing you guys exactly where all of the basements are helping you out. So the first location is inside of Salty, and I'll show you guys exactly where you can go for this. So you want to jump into this blue house here, then you want to pop down into the basement. And once you're in this basement, the actual location of the jigsaw piece puzzle will be these, well, basically by these chairs here. So simply land here and you'll gain access to that so that is your first one located in salty now moving on to the second one which i believe is over by greasy grove uh, which isn't too difficult to get to obviously you probably want to do this in the same game so as we head over to greasy grove it's actually on this mountain just here you see this little like shack up here on the mountain there is actually a basement on here and the jigsaw piece will spawn underneath here so if we jump in here you'll notice that the jigsaw location will just be in here somewhere so this is an absolute awesome location to go and that is the second one now jumping on to the third one you want to head over to Durburger because that has a basement in it as well so this is the third basement you can gain access to simply jump into here and you'll notice you'll have access to the battle star right here in Durburger. it should be located bang on here so jump in here and you'll get the third one in there i don't mean battle star sorry i meant a uh, jigsaw piece i'm just so used to calling it a battle star now moving on to the fourth location it's actually located in this house by shifty shafts i believe it does have a green screen in it as well you can pop down to the basement in here and you should get it spawning just here now once you've done all them that's really all them like four in that location next you want to be moving over to shifty shafts now in shifty shafts there's going to be two basement houses and these two are dead easy to find you've got this one on the end side which is just by the viking place it's actually the house on the left just here and you can jump into this house and and you'll get your jigsaw piece puzzle easily inside of here. So if I jump inside here, this is where the location is going to be for it. Simply come in here and you'll get your next jigsaw piece. Now moving on to the sixth one, which again is inside of Snobby Shores. And it's in the third, fourth house along, is it? One, two, three, four. Yes, the fourth house along. You'll notice the actual battle stars in the basement of here. Simply land in here and you'll gain that. It should just be around this couch somewhere. So go down here and you'll gain that in that house there in Snobby Shores. Now, the final location for the seventh one that you guys will need, I will show a few extras as well, is actually all the way back over by Risky itself. So go over to Risky Reels. There's a bunch of different basements over there. There's actually several different basements on the map all over the map 
Now we're not 100% sure which ones are going to be reliable for it, but from what I know, these are like the top seven ones that people have been showing on Twitter and stuff to me. People have been leaking these out. So I believe that house I showed you before may not have a jigsaw piece in, but the ones that will definitely have jigsaw piece puzzles in is this one here. You'll notice in this basement in here, you'll get access to a jigsaw piece if you land down in here. So that's an easy one to get to a little bit slow, going a, bit, a little, little bit faster for you guys need to slow down in that one. There. And the final one is on the other side of Risky in this double house over here. There is actually a base in the second house the greenhouse we can drop into here and you'll get the little jigsaw piece there sorry if i kept calling them battle stars it's just because i'm so used to collecting battle stars every single week but they are probably the most two difficult challenges out of this week's challenges. Now, some other challenges which are pretty useful to get some tips and tricks for are apples and mushrooms. The simple location for mushrooms will be inside of Whaling Woods. You'll guarantee yourself at least 20 if you drop here. So feel free to drop here and you'll probably grant yourself them pretty quickly. If you're looking for stuff like apples and that, obviously you can get more mushrooms located there by uh, Lonely Lodge. They are probably the top two locations. Apples usually drop around these sort of trees. Usually you get like one or two apples dropping around here so if you're running around here you should see a few apples like there and then and inside this forest as well i've had a few apples in here in the past so around this area that i'm in right now usually guarantees you a good chunk of apples really mainly probably around like where the actual uh, dusty is itself you get a few in these trees as well these are the sort of trees you want to be going towards for apples outside of salty around here and you'll probably guarantee yourself a bunch of different apples doing that and again leading into salty springs as well some of these trees sometimes drop apples to be fair there isn't like a guaranteed apple spawn location it's these sort of trees that you'll see dropping it and these ones as well you'll see them around here sometimes not as common as these though these are like the apple trees you usually see like one or two apples below these style of trees and that will grant yourself access to the apples and mushrooms another good location for mushrooms that i sometimes use is actually in between pleasant and greasy there's actually a little house in between the two mountains the viking mountain and the uh I don't know what you want to call it now because the storyline's a little bit confusing, but the villain base there, there's actually a little house in between that mountain. Sometimes you can get a few mushrooms spawning around these trees here on this kind of like darkish grass area. And also in this section here where the house is, between these two mountains here, between Pleasant and Greasy, you actually gain access to a few mushrooms in here as well. So some top locations there for mushrooms and apples. Moving on from that challenge, we've got Eliminate a Players, a total of 10. Not too difficult at all. I recommend either doing this at Salty Springs because obviously that is where you're going to need to find them chests for this week's challenge. I'm going to land at Salty now for you guys and show you guys exactly where you can search all of the chests that you need to collect, which is a total of seven at Salty Springs this week. I know Salty Springs basically by the back of my hand, so I'm going to be able to show you guys all of the locations for all the chests. So let's drop straight into here and show you guys exactly where each one is. So we should get a few in the roof up here. So if you drop in here, you'll get one in this roof here. Then if you actually drop down into the basement, you should also get one inside of here. What's really cool about this house, this is probably the best place to drop because you can guarantee yourself four chests sometimes because if you go even further down, you get another chest here. And then around the corner where we feared that maybe the detectives lived they actually got the fourth chest here so there's a total of four chests just in this house alone pretty awesome and if you get the right spot you could technically just mine through all the floors and get down here instantly so definitely recommend landing that house at salty springs then we've got this house here which unfortunately only grants you one chest in the roof so that's a total of five chests then if we move on to this house here i believe you can get a total of three in here you can get one in here so that's six and there's your seventh in this roof here and then your eighth will be in the basement again this is a pretty good house that i recommend landing at and the reason i recommend landing here is because you can grant yourself three chests as well so we've got a total of eight chests just there just between these three houses so i recommend either landing here or the tree house or the broken tree house as i like to call it because they are probably going to give you the most chests now we've got a total of eight chests in this house here you can get two chests you get one in the side over here which gives yourself the ninth chest i believe and then up here will give you the tenth chest in Salty Springs, which is an easy one to go and access to. Keep on moving around. We've actually got the petrol station, which unfortunately only drops one chest, which will give you a total of 11. I would not recommend dropping there unless it's the last option. Always worth checking though if you're popping through. Sometimes people miss it there. And your final house in Salty Springs, which will grant you two chests. You get one in here, so that's your 12th, and you get one up here, which is your 13th chest. So that is all the chests that I know inside of Salty Springs, which you'll be able to gain access to. Total of 13 chests. If 
if there is any I've missed, I'll be very surprised. I don't know if these are going to be classed as Salty Springs or if that mountain's going to be classed as it. To be honest, I wouldn't risk it, but they are the top locations to gain access to all the chests. I do recommend landing this house here or that house there with the broken tree. Anyway, moving on to the next challenge, which is the final challenge, which is the stage challenge. Now, this one is simply just get an elimination in each place. It can actually be quite a difficult challenge, to be honest, something that I don't usually do straight away. I've struggled with these sort of challenges in the past just because no one's been landing there. Well, this week, we actually have get an elimination in Pleasant Park. Good tips and tricks to get this one would simply land in Pleasant Park and go to the middle of Pleasant Park, either the football pitch or the little veranda area over here. You can gain access to the chest there, if there's a chest there, and then hunt someone down who you can see on top of a roof or something. Or you could tag land someone, a tactic I used to use in some of my how to win videos. It's when you first drop in to eliminate a player straight away. You simply just land with them, rob their weapon and take them out before they even get access to a weapon. Pretty good strategy and I do recommend trying out tag landing if you want to try that. Now the next location after Pleasant Park is Wailing Woods. These locations are really split and unfortunately you possibly maybe be able to do it in the same match if the circles ended in that section but all three of these if you did them in the same match i'd be very very impressed i doubt you'd be able to because the next location is extremely far away but landing at pleasant park be uh, not pleasant park sorry whaling woods the best location to go first will either be where the cube is which seems to have left a mark with the tree line or you could go into the maze itself and grant yourself probably one or two kills there easy location there for simply just land there and then the final location for the elimination is all the way at the other side of the map at one of the locations where hardly anyone lands which i can probably see being quite difficult is lucky landing lucky landing itself is such a quiet location and to be honest every time i land there on a fortnite game unless that week's challenges are set there it's just completely dead. And if you don't do this challenge straight away, you're gonna struggle doing it at Lucky Landing because I've never ever come across anyone in a normal solo uh, or squads game. I sometimes come across in solo, but mainly duos and squads, hardly anyone ever lands here unless the bus is coming straight over Lucky. Again, you can drop in a 50-50 and go on the enemy's side and grant yourself definitely a kill on this. But if you do it straight away, you should be pretty like set to do this challenge. Now the best locations to land in Lucky, in my opinion, would probably be this house here. You can get any access to a chest in the reef usually or sometimes on the lower side over here you can gain access to two chests in this building it's quite a weird structure but there is a chest here and there is a chest also in this like kind of like section here and sometimes you can gain access to a few weapons inside of here so you're pretty lucky there that's a pretty good building to land and you've got you can kind of like see where everyone is or you could simply land on maybe like the mountain up here and get a view of the entire of lucky landing get this chest here if it does spawn and maybe snipe someone or do something like that lucky landing is quite an easy area to get kills and you should be all right with that but i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget if you are new to the channel do stick around for daily fortnite content i bring fortnite content out every single day and do hope to start branching out to other games as well using a second channel but do expect fortnite content every single day on this channel so i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new around here, stick around for daily Fortnite content, like I just said. And once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.